so excited. We're going to be making a butternut squash, courgette, basil and almond pesto salad. So we're going to grab a nice heat teaspoon of coconut oil, place it into the baking tray and we're going to pop it in the oven at 180 and that's just going to melt it down. Then we're going to grab your butternut squash and we're going to take off the skin. The skin's quite tough so you need a good sharp knife. We'll slice through the skin, cut it into inch cubes. So when you hit the seedy part, just pull the seeds out and you know we can use them later. You might want to toast them in a little bit of rosemary, get a bit of salt going on there, it can be a nice crunchy snack for later. Let's take the baking tray out and the coconut oil should be beautifully melted. We place that butternut squash in and then let's do a nice big pinch of quality sea salt and then a good teaspoon of chilli to give it a nice kick. We're going to toss it together, massage it in that coconut oil, and once it's all combined, we'll place it in the oven so that's 180 for 45 minutes. We're aiming to get a nice caramel sort of texture, gooey in the middle, just going to be beautiful. Right, next, let's make the courgette. Now, if you haven't heard of courgette, it's basically spiralised courgette. I'll show you how to make it in the spiralizer, but it's an awesome thing that you can basically do um, to substitute pasta. It's a veggie version. If you don't have a spiralizer or a julienne peeler, uh, just use a peeler or cut it up really finely. I'll show you how it's done. So first off, you want to slice off the edges of the courgette. And then we want to put it in half. We're going to place it onto our lovely contraction here. And then, this is the fun part, start peeling it and it starts to go into these beautiful ribbons. I love it. It's a good little arm workout too. Look at that. It's awesome. So we're going to keep it raw today but do you know what you can just steam it or saute it. It cooks in about three minutes. So we'll just finish off the other half so we've got two going. It's exactly the same. Place it in. Spin it round. Amazing. I love it. And if you want to find one of these, I'll put a link. I think they sell them on Amazon, so I'll give you guys a link in case you want to do them because I just think they're perfect. It's quicker than making pasta, um, super good for you, obviously. It's totally veggie um, and they're just so much fun to make. So, roughly chop the garlic and then bang it in the pestle and mortar. Give it a good bash, mix it around. It's great for anger relief. Then throw in about 25 grams of almonds and again bash them down into a paste. Grab a good heaped handful of fresh basil leaves and then we're going to put them in there too. Grinding down the basil really releases the flavour. If you don't have a pestle and water you can just put it into a little mini food processor and that will grind it down well as well. Scrape the sides down with a spoon and then keep on mixing it. Let's season it with a good pinch of salt and add a good glug of good quality extra virgin olive oil. Give it a taste and see what it needs. Does it need a bit more salt? Does it need more oil? Just, you know, have a play with it. It's all about what you love. And lastly, squeeze in half the juice of fresh lime, which makes it super creamy. So typically, you know, you see Parmesan and pesto, and we've actually not used any cheese here, so it's totally vegan. And we've swapped the regular pine nuts as well for almonds, which add a little bit of extra vitamin E, which is great for your skin. They've got a really nice nutty texture. It brings a nice creaminess to it as well. Did you say that almonds are better for than pine nuts then? Yeah, almonds have got a lot more nutrition than pine nuts for sure. You know, and they're so versatile, you can use them in everything, and they're a lot less expensive as well, which... Could you use other nuts? Yeah, I love cashews and pesto, uh, walnuts, um, Brazil nuts also really nice as a pesto. Um, and you know, if you're allergic to nuts, sunflower seeds is also good, or pumpkin seeds. So, let's get this pesto involved. I'm gonna whack it on. Just scrape it off in there. Oh, it looks so good. Super sexy food. Super sexy, healthy food. And it's nice and thick, which is what I like, but if you want it thinner, a little bit more lime, a little bit more olive oil, and that's gonna thin it out more. Now, messy part, get the hands in, and give it a nice massage around. 
I'm gonna wash my hands first, if that's okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> Just because they're a bit, they're a bit gross. And lastly, we're gonna put in some goji berries. These are just super nutritious, boosting antioxidants, and also give it a nice pop of color. So there you have it. My beautiful vegan butternut squash, almond basil pesto, and courgette salad. This pesto is super garlicky, which is awesome. Because it's raw, it's actually really good for you. So it's an antimicrobial. So if you ever get the flu, this raw pesto is gonna be great for it. It's just gonna knock it out. You could put some chicken in here, some prawns in here if you wanted to up your protein sources. Um, but yeah, it's just a great dish. It will last in the fridge for a while as well. So you could make it the night before and have it for lunch the next day too. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos that are coming your way soon. And also check out my website, madelinechaw.com, for more tips and tricks to enliven the hottest, happiest and healthiest you.